Welcome back. Today, we're going to be talking about Ooh. outfits that fit Ooh. different body shapes. Mm -hmm. It's Fri Fri Slay. It's my, my, my day, day, day. So, not all clothing works for all different body shapes. Hello. As we know, there are many different <laughs> sizes of people. Why are you looking at me when you say that? I'm not like, oh, you think I'm looking that, at right? me. You saw that, right, She was like, there are a lot of different There are a sizes. lot of different sized people. There you go. There, there are you, you happy? happy? Yeah. Yeah, she's <laughs> so, happy. let's ask, what's your body type? Do you know? Do you know how to determine your- Well, I'm your... petite. Oh. I know that for sure. So you have to specifically look for like websites or stores that sell petite clothes. Especially jeans. Huh. Jeans are the worst because it has those long legs. Because I know that jean manufacturers, their target audiences are thin women who are like five, eight and above. Yeah, yeah. So well, I actually know this uh, website. Well, you've heard of Hollister. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I used to work there uh, a while ago and they actually have jeans that go from regular, which is like an average woman to large which is a taller uh -huh. uh, built woman and then small for petite so oh. r l and s is how you can remember if you're oh, shopping yeah. some jeans also have the same thing where they cater to like petite women i noticed that a women. lot more now when i was um growing mm -hmm. up and this might have been because i was like chunky too but oh. i think that i mean i couldn't really find petite clothes and i always had to yeah. like fold them yeah. And folding oh. jeans are like, people are like, what's wrong with but you? But that's a trend now. Yeah, yeah now it it's a trend. Yeah. Help me in the 90s, hello. <laughs> yeah. But I'm so glad that petites are a thing. That's mm -hmm. great. I think I fit into petite clothing sometimes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when I wear like regular shirts, they're like a bit baggy for me. I'm like kind of like a small figured girl. Right, right. And so, I don't know. I mean, I for me, I feel like it's, it's hard to shop and to figure out like how to wear something when you're shorter because I know it's, I, I don't know if it's about uh, you're making you your gotta, legs you have longer. Measure, like, I've looked this up before. Look, yeah. You have to measure your waist and you have to measure like your hips. Okay. So that's how you know like what length your waist is. In but do I always have to get things tailored no, not now? Not necessarily. Like there's, um, for example, uh, peplum type of dresses. I think if you're... Peplum is what? Exactly? It's like when there's like a, a waist, like it's a cinched at the waist and sometimes there's like a little like floofy thing there. Okay. Like that, for example, works better on like people that are like super slender. Yeah. Because otherwise, if you're already, if you don't have um, like a defined waist, mm -hmm. the little floofy thing on the peplum dress would make you look even larger there. Okay. Unless that's something you're aiming for, if you know what I mean. Well... But that's the point. Like, and for like... Shorter people. Yeah. Um, I've heard that skater dresses are really nice. The ones they mean? essentially just end here, and then they have like a flow afterwards. So they make your torso see, look long. See, that mm -hmm. sounds really great. But every day, I'm not going to be wearing a skater a dress. dress. Yeah, that's or true. a peplum. Yeah, or a peplum. Sure. Like, how do I make baggy clothes or like sweatpants or like kind of yoga pants look good and not that I'm like just crawling out of bed? Well, try to figure out like there are so many different types of sweatpants you can wear. There's like skinny pants, joggers, like there are a lot of sweatpants that look cool and fashionable. Like mm -hmm. ripped sweatpants now are a thing. Ripped sweatpants? <laughs> ripped sweatpants. Oh my God. I have like a bunch of those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Rip your own um, I, I personally like joggers because they're kind of like just skinny jeans and like sometimes you can wear them with like, well, you can wear them with sneakers. And they, they're they short at the They like the have ankle? like a cinched ankle. Mm -hmm. oh. And I feel like any body type can wear that if you want to. Because I like being loose on my bottom sometimes. Yeah. Like when I wake up, like I like to just feel like I'm kind of in pajamas without actually wearing pants, I but I don't want to wear I that like boyfriend jeans is a good, type of like fit for anyone because is that the same as a mom jean no no mom jeans would be like high-waisted but still kind of like get our straight legs okay okay sometimes it could be tight but boyfriend jeans are just like they're loose fitted they're baggy they feel like your boyfriend where do jeans. I where do I go <laughs> like so, H&M and stuff like that yeah like Forever 21 American even. Apparel a lot of the times they have sales where it's like you buy one you get one fifty percent off mm. and because um, H&M, jeans nowadays are so expensive. Yeah. Like, how do I know? Like, aren't all jeans the, the same? Like, I don't understand uh, the difference between a four hundred dollar jean and like what I get at Express it's or H&M. Honestly, just the name brand of what you're paying. It doesn't for. like make you look for... any skinnier. No, I feel like no. Well, the quality will be different. Mm -hmm. You're going to pay more for a better quality. It might jean. last longer. Yeah. Okay. But if you're going to American. Eagle, I feel like they have really good quality jeans that I've worn like for years now. Hollister, I still have the jeans that I've worn or I've owned from like when I worked there. Oh, wow. wow. And they actually have really nice jeans. 
It's like different washes, different yeah. styles. They have boyfriend jeans. It just gets so overwhelmed. Yeah. I mean, like, I know that you, I've never actually seen you ever wear jeans, to be honest. I wear <laughs> jeans often, but, um, like you're I don't know. Really? Because I've only I'm seen a, you in skirts. On the and show, I'm a dressy person. Mm -hmm. I don't like to dress like a baggy hobo. Okay? So I, she already <laughs> called me a hobo today, guys. So let's <laughs> just talk about that. But she's wearing such a cute shirt. <laughs> Thank you. You're not a hobo right now. But it's okay. right now. I mean, I, I wish hobo chic was a look because I would <laughs> it rock is. that. It is a look. It is. It's like the um, hipster central look. Gone. Yeah. I, a lot of people wear uh, sweatpants with heels. Mm -hmm. and that's yeah, the that looks, that's the I like that. It's yeah. cool. I, don't, I think if I wore that on the street, though, people would give me looks. They would. Fashion is not always fun. Let them go. Let them catcall you. But, you know, there you. are actually mm. like charts <laughs> online that show you like your body type and all of that. And I think, I mean, even if you're not going to follow it, I think it'd be cool just to look at it and see like if you could choose things that are along those lines. Yeah. But in the end, what you want to wear is what you want to wear, That's and you should true. wear it anyway, girl. Okay? It smells like you have one. You fart. I never smelled it before. What? It mm, smells what like candy. I put it on my lips, not up my nose. That's your nose should be able to, to smell. <laughs> <laughs> but it also tastes cool. Do you ever worry Don't that like?